Thanks, Marie. Well, this man is accused of signing a vote by mail ballot as his dead father. Elections officials say that he used that ballot to cast a vote in the 2020 election. Fox 35's Matt Trezis shows us how it was the signatures that got the attention first. Sumter County elections officials are charging Robert Riverneider with forgery and fraud that they say happened during the 2020 election. Sumner County deputies arrested Riverneider at his home in Wildwood just outside the villages. Elections officials say he signed a vote by mail ballot for his father who passed away in October of 2020. Lake County election supervisor Alan Hayes says he's glad Sumter officials made the arrest. It saddens me that anybody would try such a stunt. But as, as an election official who is proudly standing for election integrity, I'm glad the person was found out. Sumner elections leaders accuse River Nider, who was a registered Republican, of forging his late father's signature and mailing in the ballot. They say their staff researched signatures on both father and son's past mail-in votes and determined that the signature was only a match for the sons. Every single signature on those return envelopes is checked by our people. And if we think there's any reason to disallow it, then we do. UCF political science professor Aubrey Jewett says it's important for voters to have confidence in our elections. We actually want in a democracy to have people to have faith that the elections are secure so that they feel confident that this is a country where we decide things at the ballot box. If you think you've heard something like this before in the villages, you're right. At least four villagers have been arrested for tampering with the 2020 vote. Residents say it's important to keep the vote secure. Very important in any state, not just Florida. Anybody that does something like that is wrong. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what side of the fence you're on. River Nider didn't return our phone calls or messages. He was booked into the Sumter County Detention Center and released after posting 10 thousand dollars bond in the villages matt trezza fox 35 news